Hey, what's up guys? Matt here, country song teacher. Hope you're all doing well. Let's learn this new song by Luke Bryan called Games. Now again, we're going to think about the timing of each of these chords. you got to put the capo on the fourth fret to put it the same key that he does. Um, the verses are going to be E minor, C, and D. Now type in Matt McCoy first four chords. Type that in the YouTube search bar if you want to see a close up of how I play these if you're new to my lessons. I use these on a, of, on a lot of my videos. So you're going to go two E minors, two C's, four D's. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. One, the one that you never call. You know the one that you call, but you act like you never call. But you act like you never saw me When you're dancing with him And you're looking at me And I'm holding her But I'm hoping you see So right there, three times around You're going two E minors Two C's And remember, I play a C similar to a G It's really called a C add nine But I call a C Where you just bring those two fingers down So you're going two E minors, two C's Two, four D's Three times around then to wrap that uh, ver the verses up, well the one where you don't kiss me, you go back to C. But you tell me that you miss me. So see there, I went E minor C D, E minor C D, E minor C D. Then back to C. Two, three, four D. One, two, three. All of these and then in the chorus. So that's your verse. Think about that timing. You can get into. I'm keeping it at the same timing. It's still, if you can see, the song's still built off that same. One, two. One, two. One, two. One, two, three, four. So right there, all I'm doing is going down, down, and then I mute. Down, up, down, up, switch. Down, up, down, up, switch. I really try to get people away from strumming patterns um, and also like right here a lot of times I get confused with the lyrics and chords I've got them my iPad here but one thing I always say be leery of ultimate guitar E chords those sites because they will they used to have me so confused because they'll line up the chords wrong when the person submits it they probably submit it right but it throws the chords off it used to really mess me up so you want to learn what chords do I need to play and then what's the timing of the chords so there's your verse and then the chorus will be very similar, E minor, C, G, D. All of these games that we play, but I can't even keep them all straight. You see, I added two beats per chord. All of these games that we play, but I can't even keep them all straight. We mean what we say. So right there, you go around twice, E minor, C, G, D, E minor, C, G, D. Then you want to switch up a little bit. I can't tell if I'm winning or losing. Then D. Somebody tell me. And you can go to a B minor. Now, a lot of you might think of bar chords, something like that. What I do is play just like an A minor. So second string, first fret, and the fourth and third. So just like an A minor, and then I slide it up two frets. That's how I play a B minor, so it's quicker to go to. Somebody tell me what are we doing? Then you repeat back to that first part. Nobody comes out on top. Then D. Tell me, are you ever gonna stop playing these games? Are we ever gonna stop playing? 
-hmm. A lot of people tell me, I, a lot of people too ask me about not using a pick. I don't know why, about a year ago I started just kind of using my fingernail. Uh, type in Matt McCoy playing without a pick. About any video you want, if you see me doing something, you can type in Matt McCoy followed by what you're looking for, and I'll have it there. Um, but I kind of learned, because then I can... I kind of like to be able to quickly finger pick if I want, and then... All that kind of good stuff. Uh, please subscribe if you haven't. Also check out facebook.com slash country song teacher. Let me know your greatest hopes and desires and dreams and every, all your ambitions and how life's treating you. And I'm kidding. <laughs> God's good. I gotta go hit the gym. Time to pump a little iron. Been sipping me a little pre-workout drink. I love lifting weights. It's been a hobby of mine since I was 13 years old. I, I did my first weightlifting competition when I was uh, 14 years old. It's funny to look back. I did a I did almost a 400 pound squat in a competition at 14 years old. It's pretty funny. I did a two, 235 pound bench press at 15. So I've been doing the powerlifting game. Um, I'm getting, I'm old and over the hill now, but back in my days, I used to do a lot of powerlifting, competing, that kind of thing. So thought I'd throw you a little bit of Matt info. I might start doing that in the videos. To make you stick around just for a little snippet of something crazy that you probably don't know about me, but maybe you'll know now. So that's your weightlifting. That's your tip for the day, weightlifting. Good stuff. Please subscribe. God bless you guys. Gotta run.